Can you tell us about um, what was going on tonight? Man, I was the MC host for a couple of shows here at Laugh Out Loud in Clayton. It's a great comedy club. Uh, the feature act was Jay Durrell, and the headliner was from Chesapeake, Virginia. I'm sorry, uh, Virginia Beach area. Bodacious, real funny, real funny guy. So we did uh, four shows this weekend. Times, you know, I'm talking to my wife the other day, and contemplating the meaning of life, and I turned to her and I said, hey, baby, you know, when I die, I want you to cremate me, you know, and put my ashes in a big old pot of chili and just snack on me from time to time. <laughs> How long have you been doing comedy? Been doing this for about 10 years. Okay. So what inspirations do you draw from when you're doing your comedy? Oh, course? man, I've had a, a really funny life growing up, just uh, all kinds of crazy life experiences. Ex-military, had older parents. My uh, grandmother was born in 1894, and she raised me. Uh, just all kinds of crazy things, man. So it's uh, every day's uh, story to tell. So I've always found some really funny things to uh, make me laugh, keep me going. So just love to tell my stories. I'm uh, really inspired by Richard Pryor. I think he's a master storyteller. All right. Yeah, man. The other day I'm getting out of my car and I see my African neighbor, you know. So I throw my hand and say, hey, buddy, how you doing? He went off on me. Do not call me buddy. My name is not buddy. My name is seven consonants and not a vowel in sight. So how did you prepare for tonight? Man, you know, I write constantly. And uh, I was just lucky enough, a couple of the shows, I think my material just uh, just really clicked with the, the type of audience we had. So uh, I'm always writing and always, you know, looking at newspapers, looking for funny stuff, looking for relevant stuff. and So that's what I do. That's how I prepare for a show. And what you got coming up next? Man, every fourth Friday, I'm part of a show called uh, Comedy for a Cause. And we do that at a bar in Raleigh called Napper Tandy's. And uh, it's always for a charity. So uh, this coming up, fourth Friday, we're raising money for the SPCA of Wake County. And, uh, you know, like I said, I've been doing comedy for a while. And um, I've always wanted to find a way to use my talent to help others. So that's, uh, that's the way I do it when I'm not doing comedy and getting paid. You know, I'm helping others. And what advice would you give to someone who just wanted to start out in comedy? Uh, just stick with it. Just uh, start going to open mic, start writing, start asking people questions. Uh, pick somebody whose style you like. Maybe contact them because you can do that now on the web. You know, just study. Just study people. There's a great book by Judy Carter called The Comedy Bible. Buy that. And that's got some good exercises and drills for writing. But writing is the most important thing. So. All right, can, where can people go to check you out more and follow you? Man, I've got a blog page called champcomedyblog.com, and also you can find me on Twitter, same place, uh, at champcomedyblog. So hit me up there, and uh, of course on Facebook, John Champion. Uh, no matter where I'm at, I make a scream.